Hi, I'm Katrina. And I'm Belinda. Welcome to Crumbs 13, the prayer edition. I, I love this and I hope that you do too. And I am hoping that you take time to um, open yourself up and receive what the Lord is doing and that, um, that you are praying with him and meeting with him and praying with others and experiencing the fullness of what um, prayer and intercession is all about. And the Lord's just telling me to say this, so somebody needs to hear it. There is power in spoken word out loud. Mm -hmm. When we are praying out loud, um, we are putting the enemy on notice. We are letting him know where we stand, who we are a child of, and where he should go. <laughs> so <Wow. laughs> spoken declaration, spoken word prayer, like you know, in the quietness of your heart, praying, mm -hmm. that is wonderful, but like there is power in spoken words. So mm -hmm. taking the authority, we've talked about authority before and mm -hmm. taking the authority that Christ has given you and, and, and speaking that declaration over you, your family and those who you are interceding for. Um, and actually too, I want to do one other, I want to say one other thing mm -hmm. because, um, when someone has offended you, or when you've been hurt by those in whom you love, one of the very best things you can do is first forgive them and second pray for them and ask yeah. God to bring favor on them. And and, you, and let me just express the power of that is because the enemy can poke you um, when you're offended and he can keep poking at you when you're offended, but he's not gonna keep poking at you when you're offended if you keep going to the throne on behalf of the one who offended you and you've forgiven them. Matter of fact, eventually yeah, he's so just true. like, ooh, don't mess with her because she's going to take her authority and then I have no power. And uncovering the lie in it. Yes. I just had this happen in the car the other day. It's so funny. I'm like thinking about the situation and I'm all of a sudden you build this narrative in your head that isn't even What's grounded true, yeah. in truth. Yeah. So just exposing the lie by even calling that person if you feel like you've been offended and just understanding the positioning of their heart instead of the positioning of oh, their words. Amen. It's the heart because when a friend is a friend is a friend. Mhm. Mm it's a friend and and it's a friend. It's a friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's true because even like in marriage like I think we forget how much we love our spouses based on the offense. Mhm. Mm or if you saw one of our prior videos, too many Hallmark movies, that could also cause you to feel more offended by yourself. Oh my word. Wow. Oh, okay, we better pray. This is the prayer. <laughs> so let's go into prayer. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, I just want to praise you and I thank you. I thank you, Lord, that um, you know our secret prayers. You know the things that we feel like we can't even speak out loud, Lord. Father, I thank you that you meet us in the quietness of our prayers, but Lord, I thank you that you give us a voice to speak boldly. And, and Lord, I just pray that we would just speak boldly for your kingdom, boldly for those whom, whom we love. And Lord, we just pray right now in Jesus' name, would you forgive us? Forgive us of wrong thoughts. Forgive us of wrong words. Forgive us of uh, not bringing our heart to you first, Lord. And um, forgive us for looking at others with a critical eye, Lord. Father, I just praise you and I thank you. And I'm just asking you to have your way in us today, Lord. And Lord, as you have your way, may we be bold to step up for you. May we be bold to speak for you. May we be bold to move in your authority and, and bring healing um, to those in our, in our circle, Lord. Father, I just praise you and I thank you that you're doing a new thing each day in us. And Lord, I stand in complete agreement in Jesus' name over every word that was spoken by Belinda. Thank you for that, Father. And thank you, Lord, um, for every person that is praying alongside us right now. Lord, I wanna make a declaration over their heart. May their heart and their eyes, and their spirit, their soul and their body be completely surrendered to you. Lord, as their eyes and their heart are positioned um, from your perspective, may they see the people they love and those around them the way that you see them. Yes. Even as they're driving in their vehicle, may they see other vehicles as your children, Lord, people that you created, people that you love. Lord, I think that we are so quick to be angry. We are so quick to assume and to judge. But Lord, as we walk in the fullness of who you are, 
who we are begins to change. And so I declare today in Jesus name that the power and the love of Jesus Christ would reign over the hearts of those that are praying yes. with us, Lord. May their hearts be repositioned and may their eyes be eyes to see the way that you see. Lord, break off every stronghold in Jesus' name, every bit of um, just um, misunderstanding or condemnation or judgment, Lord. Any spirit that is... Um, causing bondage in the way that they see the people around them or the way that they um, perceive certain situations or words that were spoken. Lord, we just break the power of that off right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. It has no authority here anymore. It is broken by the blood of Jesus. And we just praise you and we glorify your name in it. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy and thank you for your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. The Lord um, wants to meet you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he wants you to experience him. Um, so ask him mm -hmm. to reveal. Yeah. And receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. When he reveals it, fully receive it. Surrender. Mm -hmm. Open your hands. Open your heart. And just receive what he has. And it it might feel uncomfortable. It might, it might hurt your pride. Mm -hmm. Um but we want to get rid of pride. So we don't want to just hurt it. We want to move it on out. So um, yeah, with that, we cannot wait to meet you at the master's table. God bless your day.